Okay, I think the sun is setting on our first day in this park. And I'm just going to pause it, bring back the UI, uh, the UI again with G and look at the zoo. So I imagine it's going to be way too cheap now because we've actually, yeah, zoo ticket price is great. Yeah, okay. It's not going to be for long. I want to make it five and four for, uh, and actually I'm going to keep it three um, for adults and children. And essentially because we've put in more animals, we can raise the, uh, the amount of money we're charging for everything. But this isn't the main, this is one of the main ways we're going to make money is through ticket prices. The next is through our sales and I imagine we're making decent money on this. So let's go finances. Yeah, we're already making profit from it. So this is good that we want to keep making profit from these. I am going to put in a few benches and stuff for our, uh, our guests. And we don't have the ones I want. For now, I'm going to put in a few just standard Planet Zoo picnic benches. Just so they can eat some food while they're chilling. Let's put in some recycling bins. Um, let's say that everything we sell is going to be recyclable around here, so they only need recycling bins. It doesn't actually make a difference between recycling and normal bins uh, in the game, but for our little zoo, we know uh, everything is recyclable, so everything should have a recycling bin. Put a couple of bins down there. I'm just going to basically, the more we put around, the less littered our zoo is going to get. That's obviously important because it reduces the amount of work our care ne caretaker needs to do as well. So we put quite a few bins in. Um, we could put some benches down as well. We put a couple of benches in. Um, move that bin up a little bit. Put another bench in. It's under facilities as well, which is a really strange place for benches to be. But hey, doesn't doesn't bother me. Um, just put a few benches around, just so our guests can sit down if they need to. They're finding the walk a little bit hard. And you know, I might actually, just to make it easier, I might just add in railing on ground queue. And uh, not on ground queue, on ground path. And just basically put a little railing in here. Just so they can't get in. As in the guests can't get in. So it does just make it easier. And I do quite like this railing. Um, and it's made of wood, so you know. Oh, that was one too far. Didn't mean to do that. Add an extra little bit. Um, I think that looks quite cute. I could keep this going for a whole part, uh, for a whole zoo. I think for now, because we know we're going to make loads of changes to this area after, I'm just going to do it to these paths and we'll leave this whole square area as it is. Um, obviously, they could just jump in there, but <laughs> we're going to just hope that they don't do that for now. Um, and when we build this up a bit more, we can, oh, I'll tell you what, we could just add these in. We'll add some some in. So we've we've shown willing that we've tried to try to resolve it. But yeah, this is going to be a big building, so that's going to kind of stop any concerns there. You can see there's already a little bit of litter, so we were a little bit late on the bins, but that's okay. Um, another major thing we need to do is set up our uh, media so that basically they know what these animals are and we can teach them about the animals so that they will donate more money to us. So I'm going to put in a small sign here and again when we've got some more scenery pieces which I'm going to research after this um, hopefully we'll get a nicer looking habitat board but for now I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to use control plus D um, so control D just to copy and move these around. I'm going to put one in here. Um, we need to check what the power is because these do need power. Oh, so I was right on the edge. That was very lucky. And then we put one over here. And just there. And one over here where everyone's gathered here. And there. And maybe one. Ah, they're not really looking there. That's fine. And then we're also going to put in some speakers because we need to tell them about the animals as well as looking at them. So let's select the giant auto. We're going to make this bigger. This about 12. I'm going to copy that. Can't put it in there. Should be able to put it over here somewhere. Okay, that may just be because it was already selected. I don't know why that was red. But it's definitely covered in here. So I'm going to put one there, connect that up to the giant otter as well, down 12, just as it's got good coverage. 
And I'm going to do the same here. These speakers are really ugly. I might do something with them later, but I don't really hate them that much. And if we know that we're going to change the sign, I'm probably going to do something where we incorporate the speaker into the habitat board as well. And we have like a nice eco sign that looks really cool. Maybe even put conservation boards in it as well, which teach them generally about conservation. Um, and some of these kid ones as well, which are so adorable. Like I love these. I can't wait to put them in. Um, I just kind of want to do it in a more unified way. So maybe once we put this habitat and maybe our next one, then we'll start getting some of these like boards together when we've got a little bit more money, a few more uh, talking uh, a few more conservation-esque pieces that are a bit more eco-friendly. We've also got our animal talk seating here and the animal talk points. We will put these in when we get an educator because we're not quite doing that yet in our zoo. Um, but the most important thing, the most important thing, do not forget to put these in your zoo anywhere, is the donation boxes because otherwise your zoos will go bankrupt on day one. Um, I'm going to whack one here and I am going to change the colour of these because I do hate the, uh, the blue, it just really stands out. Um, I think I'm just going to go for some tropical greens. Uh, maybe not even that dark, because that kind of stands out. Oh, maybe I will. I'll leave it as that. Um, but essentially, I just wanted some tropical colors so they're not quite as noticeable. Um, if we, we Control-D to duplicate that, I'm going to put another one here. Basically, anywhere where guests might hang around. Put three on that side. Maybe one over here. Um, then we've got our little cave area. Put one down here. And one here. And basically, the guests who are viewing the animals will now, if I click play, they will hopefully throw some money in when they enjoy viewing the animals. Um, I'm not sure how much they'll donate because they haven't been educated very well so far. There we go. Hey, you got some money. So we just got 20, 120 pounds. So you see how much this is? Yeah. $120. $120. High amounts of litter. Okay. Um, is, is that, are we, talk, are we saying that's high? I mean, is that, is that really high amounts of litter? I, I, I think it's fine. I think we're okay. Um, I'm sure the caretaker will get on that in a second. Um, oh, can hear some thunder. I think it's going to start raining. So one thing we could do, another little facility we could put in the middle here. If I pause. Sorry about all the pausing. I just There's so much you want to do at the start to get it all in What before your money takes a massive hit. And one other thing I want to do, which is going to be important for our zoo in particular, is put an information center in. So I'm actually going to select group, edit group, so it all stays in the same group, and then go back to this information center. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Again, I'm going to change this down to one. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to move that one across. And then we can select the whole group. And move them. Okay, uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. If I click X now, there we go. Right, center them like that. There we go, it's going to add another vendor as well, and we're going to have to add it into our work roster, our work zone. So let's go entrance facilities, add the information center. Let's just check our zoo again. Oh, we need to add it into that too. Excellent, just deselected the others. Am um, I just clicking and dragging, by the way, when I make these squares? It's just can group select buildings. So, so you can just do like that rather than having to click each one individually. Um, yeah, it's much easier just to click them all um, like that. And again, we're going to sign you to entrance guest facilities. And who's our new vendor for this one? Michael? Michael Sinclair? Yeah, it's got to be Michael, that, hasn't it? Um, entrance guest facilities. Basically, these information sense. In fact, I might just to get us uh, to have oh the keeper. Oh my goodness, this is a massive thing. Can't believe I've done this. I need to make the work zone for the habitat. Okay, so this is going to be giant otters, um, and we're just going to add in our keeper to that work roster. Oh, I put the keeper on entrance guess really. That's so bad. Okay, giant otters. There we go. Now they can actually get fed. So the keeper's going to come through here and then they're going to go, they're going to pour the food in and feed them in there. Oh, the poor things. We're probably getting hungry. 
Oh, they're okay. We put enough, like, enrichment with the ice ball, I think. They had some kind of, like, nutrients, so they didn't worry too much. That's okay. High amounts of litter. I, I still don't think that's really high, so I'm gonna dispute that. Is this bin full or something? Okay, that bin's pretty full, but... Hey, tell you what, we'll just add in another bin. It'll be fine. Just put in another bin there. Everyone's happy. Goodness, it's a lot of rain. But yeah, as you can see, now they've bought umbrellas. They can buy umbrellas in the information center and then everyone can have a little umbrella with them. Look at that. Horrible and wet. <laughs> That's how we sell our zoo. Eco zoo, horrible and wet. Um, but the first habitat's done. We finally got our animals in. I love it. I cannot wait to get the next ones. I think we're probably going to put in... Um, Oh, I've forgotten what they're called now. I can't pronounce them. I've forgotten how you pronounce it. I think it's t ta Oh, was it Tapir? Tapir? Tapa? I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Let's look them up. And then you can tell me. Uh, oh. Oh, it's AI. Yeah. Birds. Birds. Tapir. Endangered. Basically, they're endangered and they're also from South America and Central America. So they're a perfect one to have in our little entrance area over here. Um, might put them just here um, and then we can expand into the Asia and Africa sections of our zoo. And this is going to remain our staff area. So we've got our staff area, our giant otters and our birds. Tapir, tapirs, tapirs. <laughs> You're going to have to help me out. But um, hey, basically, we'll put them in there. That's fine, we haven't got a lot of crime, we don't need security right now. One thing I am going to do is, because we've got all our, our staff here, I'm going to send them for training, because this doesn't cost a lot of money and it makes them way more efficient, especially our keeper. Um, and then we're going to do the most interesting thing, which is some vet research. Well, vet research first. We're going to drag Stan, that's our vet's name, onto the giant otters, and he's going to research some stuff, so hopefully we'll get some new toy enrichment. We're going to get two new toys, although we may already have them because we did have some stuff already. But as we get down here, we'll unlock more stuff. And we're going to learn a fun fact, which is cool. Got to learn fun facts. Um, we're also going to do the mechanic research, and what I want to do is going to be down... Is it down here? Why can't I see it? Conservation theme. We're gonna research the conservation theme, and I think I want the New World theme as well, um, because that's got loads of nice, like, eco-friendly uh, stuff, some sustainable building materials. So, should be good. That's the, essentially, once we've researched those, this mechanic stuff is gonna get us a bunch of scenery, so it's 166 scenery items, and then we can really start to make our zoo look nice. But in, until they've done that, we've kind of stuck with some basics here. And again, we'll change all these benches and stuff. Like, I don't really want these. And we've got loads of the Arctic uh, scenery from uh, when we did our, our, previous, uh, our previous zoo, which was kind of in a winter wonderland setting. Um, but I think these are quite happy now. Our information sense is making some money. Hopefully this money's going up now. We're actually making profit. Hey, that's a good day. We're making money. All right, okay. Now we can make our next habitat. So for that, I'm going to come over here. I am really miffed about the weather. I think it might just be the time. I'm going to change this so we open at five and we close. Maybe, yeah, and we'll close at... What time is it? Ah, oh, it's because it's five. We're going to open at 6 a.m. It's hopefully a little bit lighter. No, just six. Six till eight. It's pretty reasonable. Um, oh goodness, you just can't see a thing. Good old thunderstorms, eh? The tropics. Um, let's see if I adjust this a bit later. Will it get any... Right. Just for today, we're going to open the zoo up at 8.30. <laughs> Basically, if you adjust the time of day, then it just changed the lighting. It's nice to have it do a day and night cycle. Or if you want, you could just do like an all-night zoo, which would be cool. But um, yeah, we're just gonna have a little bit later. And look, they love they love the species. Um, they love the the giant otters. Okay, they're happy with the zoo price. I think it's fair. Um, it feels pretty small. They need more people to be able to get to the drink shop. So it could be we need more drink shops or we need better vendors or we need more vendors. Um, 
so I'm not super happy about the view of the uh, giant otters, but to be honest, it's probably over here. And to be honest, it's kind of all right. I don't think that's that bad. They can view them from over here. Um, we could always move this shelter as well. But I kind of like it how it is. It gives the animals more privacy too. And I, you can get a decent view. The one thing I would like is to get more um, like of a view into their deep water diving down here. But I don't think I've really nailed it in this design for the otters to be able to see a great amount of them under the water. Let me just try and go in the water. Right. Because it would be cool to see them diving around here. But they're not like... They're not the only animals that will deep dive anyway, and it's not a massive focus of the zoo, so I am just going to leave it as it is, and we'll move on to our next habitat anyway, which is... Uh, just thinking, how do I want to come off? I'm going to do it like that and then come around. Um, I want to respect the topography here, because there's a big uh, hill that we're kind of going to hug around there, um, at which point we have a nice little area over here, and I think we'll use... We don't want to bring the guests on this side because that's where the water pump is, but we can bring them round. If we have it come like that, then we can always curve back round. Um, that's okay, we'll go over the hill a bit. And hopefully, no, I'll tell you what, we're going to come before the hill. I'm going to stop there. Because that... Yeah, that looks fine. We're going to stop there and then they can turn around. And this would be somewhat of a dead end because they can always... Uh, this could always lead into something else. The path could continue around there, around the rocks if we wanted. In fact, we could cut it short very slightly and leave it so it could more easily go around the rocks. And um, we're going to build a little habitat in here. So again, I think I'm going to do the same tactic of pushing down the habitat very slightly. We need to check in on what they need. So, uh, oh goodness, please tell me in the comments how to pronounce it, because I'm saying it wrong, I know. But they're an endangered mammal uh, native to the woodlands of Central America. Um, and they need grade two over one meters. So they could probably have the small fence because this is a one meter fence and i think when this is over one meters the one meter is actually fine um so i'm gonna try this one actually put the keeper I'll tell you what, i'm gonna keep the keeper one here in the corner because the closer we have the, the keeper entrances to our keeper hut the less the keepers have to travel to get into the uh, habitats so let's put it around here on the corner because then it doesn't obstruct this kind of main pathway either and then we're going to have a little dip in the old terrain. And we're going to flatten the foundation. Going to leave a little hill in the middle. This is quite a big area, so I think we'll just come around here. Oh my goodness, we're about to have babies already. Well, not underwater, hopefully. Our otter's about to have babies. Oh, come out through the lily pad. I think maybe when they get to shore, they'll have a baby. I'm just going to fast forward time very slightly. Come on. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Oh, that's the cutest little thing. I mean, it's kind of got... Oh, I don't like that. Don't... No. Separate. That was weird. Oh my... Oh, how many... How many are you having? Oh my goodness. Etana? Eta oh, you have to pronounce... Uh, forgive my pronunciation. Maria and... Teresa. My goodness. Three babies. Well, it's a good thing we made the habitat bigger, wasn't it? Hope it's still enough a good enough size. Let's check. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We made it big enough. We made it big enough. But my goodness. Oh, they're going to swim for the fish. 
This is what I mean about the fish, and they'll they'll deep dive and eat the fish, which is very cool. And they can, they're watching it. They're watching it from there. I think that's pretty cool. 